Certifying badasses one podcast at a time. Teaching you to love Monday. Check your baggage at licensedtobebadass.com and hop on the bus to Badassville. Turn up your energy with Mustang Monday. Here once again in the driver's seat is Kelly Orchard. With the manual? No, I, no, no, actually, okay, I bought this brand new off the lot and it was a manual transmission oh. already. Yeah, I was like, done. Yeah, those are fun. I know. Right, so I, I miss my Porsche. <laughs> it was, I had a 77 yeah. uh, 911S, uh-huh. and it was so much fun to drive. Yeah. And I did, we had started our family. So I know, you know, that's what, if that's exactly what happened kids. to me. I gotta, I gotta roll it in the window anyway. Uh, roll it down, yeah. who cares? We, we're gonna, we're gonna suffocate yeah. it. And yeah. we are recording, by the way. So, oh, well. I, we're recording. I, don't know, I don't know, I don't know how much of this I'm gonna use, but we're talking about vehicles and this Mustang because this is a, it is a 2006. I'm the original owner. And it's it's paid off. It's got 104,000 miles on it. Um, and you're right. They don't make them like this anymore. They do not. They, they do, do not. not. It was yeah. fun to sitting in here when you started up. I'm like, whoa. whoa I know. Yeah. I know. I don't understand the electric ones now. I don't understand how that's you're going to get the same feel because this thing rumbles. Yeah. And that's one of the, my favorite things about Reminds it. Reminds you you're alive. Yeah, exactly. Also, she drinks a lot. <laughs> And I mean that gasoline wise. <laughs> you know? That was like, it, yeah, yeah. She, uh, drinks a lot of wine. <laughs> drink a lot of wine and drive. <laughs> no, no. The car, the car has a drinking problem. Yeah, you know, it's like I'm constantly going to the gas station. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you know what? My my son in law also told me the reason why is because I don't drive it conservatively either. You know, so when I'm at a stoplight, he's like, Vroom! heck yeah, I'm doing it. That's why What's you buy point? a secondary car. That's right. Well, I had one and I had, I turned it in over the COVID thing just because oh. it was a lease and it was like, it was sitting there and I'm paying all that money. So, but I, I, I am kind of considering I'm in a market for another one because I really just want to preserve this car. Yeah. I don't want it to be my everyday car. Well, Dion bought one of those little Fiat cars that you can put in your back pocket, which is perfect. So like when you need to drive it, you just pull it out of your pocket there, and you can drive it. There you go. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey everybody, Kelly Orchard here with Mustang Monday. I am the badass certifier. Sitting here with a badass tip from the street is how do you say your last name? I always butcher it. I butcher it too. You too? Yeah. I mean, it's like Gert Von Greiten or is that a Ger Ichten. Ger Ichten. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'll but we, we're just going to call him Joe. <laughs> Joe Von G. Joe, see, that's how I have you on my phone and always have <laughs> Joe Von G. Yeah. And so that's all I call you. Yeah, I'm either social media by Joe or Joe Von G for the people that have known me for the last 15 years. So. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, I want to, I, I don't even know what tip you're going to give today. And that's what I always mm. love about doing this is because it's always a surprise. Mm. What do you want to talk about? But I do like to kind of talk about how our relationship evolved. You and I actually met. Do you remember when that was the first time? Uh, co-working connection. Co- exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I think it was actually, I came to one of your events. That's when we actually. I think we were actually both be- speaking at it. Yeah. Uh, you you like followed me or I followed you or something. Yep. And that's how we first got acquainted. We were both oh, doing co-working week. Yeah. That's what it, it was. It yeah, was. Yeah, it was. Okay. We were both yeah. we were both on the flyers and, we, and it's like didn't know you didn't you know but we we got acquainted at that mm-hmm. and found that we have a lot of similar energies and ideas mm-hmm. and interests and philosophies and just became fast friends. Yeah. You know? I, I mean I remember uh, right away I went to, I went to your free little workshop right after that right. and I really enjoyed it yeah and now yeah. that was before badass that was way before badass that I was think. before ba- right. that was quite a few years ago because but was, you were talking about badass then I, oh, well, I've always talked about badass like, the thing was is I always ha- I had to figure out how I was gonna like brand it because I can't really own the word badass yeah. but I do own licensed to be badass mm-hmm. did you oh, where did I put that sticker somewhere it must have fell when, oh, we, were, when we were making all these arrangements. I was hiding it you were hiding it so the yeah. so this is now actually trademarked Oh, that is so cool. I did do a, I, I have stickers that are on their way that have the little R with the circle on it because this yes. is actually a registered trademark. So oh. when we met, I hadn't even started anything of the badass program, but I'm glad that you enjoyed the workshop because I'm going to be re implementing some of those, you know, seasonal kind of things because, you know, my last name's Orchard. So I do seasons of growth. Yeah, I love Spring, it. Springs, fall, <laughs> summer, winter. I, I like, told you before, I love the book yeah, series. Yeah. I, I know uh, I've read through. I think at least a couple of your books, if not all of them. Yeah, probably. I think I've read almost all of them, but um, the workshop was perfect, and it was so aligned with uh, what I like to do with my clients, which is really help them build businesses Mm -hmm. that support their lifestyle, not 
not a business that they get stuck in right. or they can't live the life they want to have. Right. So, so uh, what are you doing now? Cause I know that we've been through, we've both been through many transitions because yeah. one of the things I know about you is that you were caring for your parents too, you and your wife. I, and so these are like part of the, you know, like I, I, what I like to say is stay the course and be nimble and flexible because even though you're pursuing aspirations professionally <laughs> man there's there's life going on too yep but you've always uh, one thing i've seen about you is that y you're a fighter you always you come back there's no bouncing humans don't <laughs> bounce okay there's, but you come back strong yeah. so what are you up to now oh man i so much in the last six months uh we've launched uh thanks to covid we launched uh, a program to help people build uh, find another way to supplement their income or even start building out their wealth because mm -hmm. uh, uh, my whole thing has always been about relationships contribution your health and your wealth those four things mm -hmm. and I look at it like a bike wheel I actually just finished a book that was another thing I'm uh, finalizing right now and uh, I've had people go through and give me the feedback so now I'm making the little nuance changes yeah, the adjustments um, and the edits but it starts with <laughs> you know the concept of when you were a kid and you had a bike Mm -hmm. And when you would get that flat tire and that you couldn't go as fast, you didn't feel the wind wasn't blowing through your hair, if you will. I know we talked about water skiing before. So, mm -hmm. um, but that, that resistance you had that slight resistance from having a low tire. And, and then when you would pump it up, it was always amazing how much faster you could go, how much easier it was. And so the analogy that I've come up with is that's kind of how your life is. And that when you add air to the tire, your life mm -hmm. um, and get that balance back that integrity back in the wheel there's a lot less resistance life becomes so much more fun and enjoyable and vibrant and just outright exciting like it's it's almost like um, recently there was a movie that came out yesterday I don't know if you've seen that yesterday yeah it's a family friendly no. movie okay so with our kids we watched it well I'm not friendly to families so. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm not. I just don't have. I don't have family to watch movies with right now. I know. <laughs> In I know. That oh, you way, got your grandkids, but your grandkids would love it. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, anyways, the the parents went from being uh, very uh, thoughtful young people experiencing the world, traveling and backpacking, and they became parents and they started saying no. Mm -hmm. And so they had to shift, and. Um, it was amazing they had to say yes to everything for one day for their kids and there was rules and limitations but that's how like most people live their lives is they we get so we caught up in the drift yeah we forget that um part of the life is is just saying yes and experiencing mm -hmm. those opportunities that come come our way it's uh, interesting so. you know that as we record this you know it's like mustang mondays are all, all everything i do is recorded now just because it's easily mm -hmm. easier to manipulate mm -hmm. you know and you never know what's going to happen live but um <laughs> as you're talking about the saying yes i'm realizing it's like i'm publishing my apple a day podcasting right now and it is my yes series 30 yes. days to say things to say yes to so same mindset and i you know so okay i love it uh, i yeah. love it so uh, that's really yeah. you know so where tell me more about your okay so the bicycle so what who are you who are you targeting to build their life and using the bicycle theory the bicycle tire theory I'm, I like it. So originally it was going to be geared towards me because I'm right. the avatar you yeah. know, to some degree. But the reality is I want to help more people that are drifting, that are stuck in life, especially right now coming out of this pandemic. It's the best time there. We're going to see the biggest explosion of wealth that we've ever experienced in our lifetimes. Um, we're going to see people take their health a lot more seriously. We already are. Um, relationships. We did kind of see people start to get back in relationship. And now as things open back up, it's almost like everybody already forgot. Mm -hmm. And so um, I just have some simple strategies, you know, that I put together in this book um, that we're actually using in our, our trading group that I've used with clients for years, my marketing clients, mm -hmm. uh, kind of subconsciously, I've just kind of seeded those things um, to get them to start thinking about more than just the business, because really it's like, why do we do anything? Right. Um, if you don't why? know the why, yeah. you know, what's your purpose? It's, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. um, who's my avatar right now? Really? It's, it's a little broad to be honest. I'm working through that. It's, but in general, drifters, people that are just, oh, so I have to life. laugh at that. First of all, avatar is like, if we're talking marketing, cause you might not be, <laughs> you might not be the marketing person. It's like the demographics who they look like, yeah. but I like it. It's a little broad. 
Okay, so you're a little broad? <laughs> just a little. Like a little woman? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just I'm said some humor. Yes, okay. <laughs> but, okay, so somebody who's been drifting, so you consider yourself maybe, I really don't know if it was necessarily drifting. I look at you as, you know, raising a family and maybe not always being able to be 100% yeah, I, mode. Yeah, well, well, maybe, it, you know. And it, you're right to some degree. I mean, I would already started working in that space in 2012 i had the i was fortunate enough uh had a good friend rick robbins who i think you met before he passed uh his tragic passing and um no actually i think you and i met after that happened. right after that because we i remember we yeah. talked about it yeah. yeah and he one night he came into my office we were at co-working connection and he said joe what do you want to do like what do you want to do like if you could do anything right now and money was no object and all that stuff you know all the million dollar questions right and i'm like i just puked on the guy and it was like nine o'clock at night and that's when the bell started going off in my head. Wait, it's nine o'clock at night. I've got a young family at home. I've got my wife at home. Um, I've been here all day. And then I'd go home, eat dinner, you know, kiss everybody goodnight, and I'd go right back to work. And what I found was is I was just drifting through life because I was stuck in my business. And I didn't, I, I knew I was, but I didn't really know I was. And Rick helped me come to that realization. He introduced me to some uh, a company, Psy Seminars. And I started doing the work there, and then I started venturing out and doing other similar work with other seminars and conferences, and I just fell in love with it. Mm -hmm. And I realized, man, I was I was drifting in my life, mm -hmm. and I didn't know it. Okay, see that's that's why because you yeah. I haven't, I haven't seen you drift. I'm like, when were you drifting? You're telling me a story beforehand. Okay. Yeah, it, and that's right. how I came to it. Yeah, that's okay, how I came that's to how it. you came to it. Yeah. Well, and I would you know it's like oh. Oh, we're they're coming to get us. We're going to edit that out. No, probably not now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, okay. Um, but, you know, I remember the conversations. We, it's, it, a lot of it is your mindset. Mm -hmm. Most of it is. Mm -hmm. is how you feel about it. You know, it's like, so we may, you and I may be on different uh, branding and messaging, mm -hmm. but we're on the same path, mm -hmm. and which is what it's all about. And what I, I love getting people who do exactly, well, not exactly, but similar to what I do in my car mm -hmm. because I don't look at you as competition. I look at you as a friend and it's a matter of you just, when you're in the right place at the right time and the right person comes along mm -hmm. and then it, when you can, you can function with their, their branding and their messaging, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and that's what, that's what I keep telling people all the time. It's like, you know, I've been doing these kinds of, this kind of work where it's advertising, marketing, whatever. And even now psychotherapy a really long time and I've studied all these things and there's really, there is nothing new. It's just a matter of the messaging and the branding changes, you know, or, or adding your twist to it and adding your story to it. And, and you're right. And I mean, and, um, you know, as a believer, that's one of the things, excuse me, uh, my goatee got caught there. Um, <laughs> one of the things that I always get a kick out of is these principles that everybody thinks that you know, these guys came up with out of nowhere. And it's like, no, no, no. no, no. It goes it's in far the Bible. back. It's in the it's Bible. It's in the Bible. Yeah, um, exactly. It's biblical. Yeah, no yeah. matter if you're a believer or not, right? there's so many great principles in there. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what, one of the things I've learned over the last 20 years, um, being in business, basically self-employed for the last 20 years of my life, is that your success begins and ends with everything between your ears. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what you do, what you take on. Um, it doesn't matter the strategy you use, the tools you buy or invest in, the conferences you go to, any of that stuff. Right. It, it's all in between right. your ears. Right. And so if you don't have that that game together, mm -hmm. you know, you may have some success, but you'll find a way to sabotage it eventually right. because you're just not clear. Right. So um, that's what we're really doing with our trading program. And When you say trading, yeah. okay, what are you trading? Mm. So we're we're... It's for Forex, so it's currency trading, okay. the foreign exchange market. Um, however, we're also evolving into getting back to, I've traded stocks for years, mm -hmm. and um, we're gonna start offering you know, options there as well. So as they build um, some money in Forex, they can start investing it into their long-term portfolio and really balancing out their life. So the, the ultimate thing at the end of the day is to be able to take on opportunities. The reason a lot of people, I think, don't take on opportunities is because their awareness level, for one. Well, the, I would, I, right now, it's like awareness level, exactly, because I'm like, I have no, you're just speaking Greek to me now. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, but, but you've I, invested in yourself and well, your Well, yeah, exactly, in myself and my future, but the stock trading and stuff like that, I have, it's like, oh, there's a market for that. 
and there is and yeah. it, it's, it's a great way so for us right now we found with our students the reason why they succeed or fail with what we give them the, mm -hmm. the what we equip them with yeah is what's between their ears yeah and so um as far as how that's working and evolving i just found it as an opportunity and my business partner uh is a young man uh he's he was born the year i was graduated high school so i love i love it but he's got a great story uh his name's hunter and um you know he's gone through a bunch of personal growth and development and really taking himself on and at 28 he's accomplished more than i have at 46. Mm -hmm. and yet he always is telling me how he's behind where he wants to be in life and it's like dude you're so far ahead when you're 46 you're gonna be you'll be able to do whatever you want but the whole thing at the end of the day is um setting yourself up so that one you have the awareness two that you have the means when it's time to make that change and what happens a lot of times is people base their decisions especially jobs and employment on the money right and not actually yeah what they would where they would really like to be yeah and um we see a lot of that you know yeah. you you it, beware beware of the job promotions oh yeah because you may think that getting to that level of management is really where you want to be where when reality is is that you're you're babysitting a lot of people and is the pay really worth the hours i mean you have to really consider your life yeah also it's a manipul uh 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 Simon Sinek talks about it in uh, Start With Why, mm -hmm. and it's really a manipulation, mm -hmm. you know, for people. And they just, you know, like I said, it's it's not that they're bad people or anything. They just don't realize it. Mm -hmm. um, and and then, hopefully, my goal is is to add that value into other people's lives as many as I can. It's like I want to touch as many people and say, "Hey, have you considered this?" Because I don't want them to, you know, invest 40 years of their life and then look back and think, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. that's 40 years I don't get back. Mm -hmm. And it's 40 years of going in the opposite direction of where I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. um, whether, or rather than, you know, I'm fully present, like sitting in this car, like mm -hmm. I was feeling the vibration, like it, it mm. like made my like hair stand up, you know, on my neck. And I was yeah. like, okay, this is cool. I know. This is something different. Yeah. But if I wasn't present, for it I wouldn't get to experience that and a lot of people just go through life and they're numb to that those kinds of things and getting back to your theme this is something about saying yes to something because yeah. I haven't seen you it's been a couple, couple years. years it's been yeah. a couple years since we've had any kind of yeah. you know and that's just you know well first of all COVID kept us all locked down yeah. for quite a while and so you focus on your own stuff but you said yes because what happened was it was really simple I've seen you kind of getting a little more active on social media again, or maybe I'm just noticing you again. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then you liked one of my posts about my podcast. I'm like, Joe would be a great guest in the Mustang. Thank so I just you. hit you up on an email and boom, here we are. He said, yes, this happened like just a couple of days ago. Oh, it happened on Monday. Like, I think. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Yeah. Cause it was Mustang Monday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Hey, you liked my Mustang Monday post time for to get you in the car. And that, so it is, it, it's a matter of saying yes. And like you said, now you have a different fresh perspective. I, yeah. I love this. I, yeah. I mean, I'm like so excited to do this. I've been looking forward to doing it. Mm -hmm. And I know we were kind of playing around with our schedules a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, the thing that people need to know is like, I know it's called Mustang Monday, but I don't need to record them on Mondays. <laughs> I'm available any day. You don't record them on Mondays? <laughs> they only play back on Monday. You lied to your audience. I can't yeah. believe you. I, you never well, lie to your audience. Ellen. Well, I don't really lie to them. <laughs> I let them. All right. So truth be told you were talking about me lying to my my listener and I don't even know when this died yeah. but the phone got too hot so we're, we're doing like oh I gotta move my seat back we're moving like a little take two not the whole thing we're just gonna wrap up because we've already done like 20 minutes we can easily talk for we could talk forever two hours yeah we could yeah. but I'm really glad to have you in the Mustang and I'm glad that you're you know written, writing a book so tell me a little bit more about the book and what you're you know I know you were playing with the title do you is it official yet no, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm kind of leaning on, originally it was um, fix your flat tire. And mm -hmm. then the feedback I got was that there was a disconnect uh -huh. between the messaging a little bit. And, and, and then I've had people say, no, that was good. But then I started thinking about it and I do like it. it is So I want to really kind of use that, start with the why. Mm -hmm. And, you know, does your life need air? And mm -hmm. then take it from there empowering equipping inspiring drifters mm -hmm. uh you know memoirs of a, a father husband that's entrepreneur good. and investor you know that's good so well your mind is flipping the format on the fear of failure yep 
that's like my radio background flipping the format so it's good that we take what is important to us so are you a bicycle rider uh no no uh, you know what i do take i do mountain bike a little bit there but, you go. Um, but the tie i like the tire analogy that's really good well in the so the youthful analogy is really mm -hmm. what i was i wanted to trigger those emotions mm -hmm. that people had yeah there was a sense of freedom and unfortunately our kids don't get it these days yeah. um as much and it, and right. so I really wanted to trigger that emotion for people that are in my demographic, that mm -hmm. are the Gen Xers, maybe the late baby boomers, that they can remember like riding mm -hmm. in the wind blowing on their face. Mm -hmm. And right now I'm imagining a scene in um, in ET where they're all oh, like yeah, riding yeah. up to the moon. Yeah. That's that's there you go. I, yeah, exactly. Great yeah. movie. Great yeah. movie. And and uh, and they all rode their bikes everywhere. That's, everywhere. Yeah. And, I mean, Imagine if they had a flat tire, they wouldn't. They wouldn't be able to save ET. E and we wouldn't know ET. <laughs> we wouldn't even know this. So you're on the right track. Yeah. <laughs> Put more air into your tires. Yeah. So yeah. and you know and really just. Stop resisting because what you resist persists, mm -hmm. and yep. um, the more you resist it, it's going to keep persisting. And the reason is, is because it's there for you to say yes to it, right? And and experience it. So um, the book itself, it's it's really based on, like I said, the four quadrants. You know, your health, your relationships, uh, your wealth, and your contribution. Those mm -hmm. four things um, draw a cir circle around, and from there you take an inventory, and then I have exercises in the book. To, for people to walk through mm -hmm. just to raise their level of awareness because what we put our attention into that's what changes that's what in our lives yeah yeah yeah, yeah. she focus yeah, on gross I, I always mess that up yeah we yeah. focus gross see the orchard she she always you, has I remember a one one question you asked once I was saying what do you guys what do you collect quotes and I'm like yeah pretty much I do I collect quotes when yeah. Jamie McNeese I told her I go you have the best quotes and she wrote a book on it Mm -hmm. She or her collection of quotes. Well, you know, she's like my little roomie now oh, at I, Michelle's place. Yeah, she's my favorite. Yeah, I, the, the, well, the, you're my yeah. favorite too. Well, yeah. I've got well, lots watch of favorites. Watch it, man. You watch that. <laughs> you know, she's one of my favorite too. Now she has to get in the car. I've told her that too. I did a video with her and Kim about my new office space, which was really fun. And uh, now I have to get them both in the car, which that might happen today because I'm having a good hair day. So, you know. <laughs> no, hey, don't do that. You're doing it on Friday. You have to do it That's on Mondays. Right. Yeah, well, I usually try to record a bunch of them at once. <laughs> so that way I don't have to worry about it for another month. Oh so, yeah, yeah. yeah that's it's all about pre-planning. That's a that, that's part of the thing is that you kind of like in order to be prepared, you sort of need to have a blueprint. Yep. Definitely. And that's what you're doing with your stuff. So, all right, everybody. Kelly Orchard, Mustang Monday. I'm the badass certifier, and this is another badass, Joe Von Grichten. Oh, that was good. I say it better than you do. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so what is so it's like is it still social media by Joe or No, no, it's been Red Zone Creative for quite some time okay. now. Um, right. that's my marketing agency. Okay. All right. So, yeah. so we're gonna be we're gonna be looking forward to Joe's book coming out. And when it comes out, we'll do another Ooh, episode that'd be or something. Awesome. That'd Who be awesome. knows what we'll do? Because I get to, I make the rules. <laughs> that's that's well, what I, I make, like that. Well, I, it's my car. <laughs> she wouldn't let me drive her car. Either. I don't let anybody drive it. But nobody drives it. This thing has 104,000 miles of, on it as of a big trash truck coming. We're going to pause for a second. Watch this. Oh, great. He's going to dump the trash right here. <laughs> I don't know, that might stay in the video. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I don't know, we had to pause for the trash truck, but uh, no, this car has 104,000 miles on it, and I think, and I think that um, uh, I've put on 102 myself behind the wheel. I've only let people, uh, there, maybe 1,000 miles on this car has been driven Are by somebody else. Are they still walking this earth? Yeah. They, they did it on purpose? Yeah, two of them were my son-in-laws. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Anyway, all right. all right, so I'm Kelly Orchard. So now I have a tagline, so just say it with me, okay? So I'm Kelly Orchard, Badass for Fire, and Joe and I are reminding you to be bold. Be a badass. <laughs> You're full of bold. Say be bold. Be bold. Be brave. Be brave. Be confident. And be confident. Now, be badass. Be badass. If you enjoy these interviews, you can watch videos of Mustang Monday on Kelly's YouTube channel, too. Grab your Badass Habits ebook. Get started on your badass journey. Go to licensedtobebadass.com.